Hi everyone, and welcome to Our Pagan Opinions. I am your Tuesday sub host, Cameron. Um, this is my debut video, my first video on here, so this should be fun. Uh, nice to meet you all and all that fun stuff. Um, today's topic is like, of course, the topic for me to be my debut video. It is the, the legalization of marijuana. Should marijuana become legal? In your opinions, what are the pros and cons of marijuana's legalization? Why is that the perfect video? Because I'm a college student. And that's all I hear about all freaking day long. It's about pot and more pot and more pot. Now, all the college students think, oh, it should be legal. It's highly annoying. But, um, honestly, I've never done it before. So I don't know much about it. So I've had to do some facts. And so, in case nobody else really knows much about it, here are some of the facts that I have found about marijuana. Um, it is a downer instead of an upper. It is a depressant and not an accelerant. They're the same thing, but depending on what terms you use. 9% um, of users become addicted, and the younger you start out, the easier it is for you to become addicted, like all drugs. Um, it is a psychological addiction, not a physical addiction. Um, it's the only drug not to kill someone. Now, people on pot have died. It is the only one where it inside their system was the cause of death. Like, now when you do something stupid on it, that's a totally different story. But the drug itself inside your system, it has never killed someone before. And, um, after the first hour of taking it, you have a decreased chance of having a heart attack after smoking. Um, if you have mental disorders like schizophrenia or a few other ones, that's the only one I've written down, it can trigger a psychotic reaction. Now, if you don't have it, it can't cause you to have it, but it can... If you've had the, the psychotic disorder in your brain already, and your brain's already functioning that way, but you've never had a reaction yet, pot can cause the first reaction and start you having schizophrenic attacks and all that stuff. Um, and the last one I have is it is proven to cause respiratory problems, but a recent study shows it is not. One of the things is not cancer. It is not a cause of cancer, but it causes other respiratory issues. So those are just a few medical facts I found about pot. There are more, and I got this from drugabuse.gov slash publications, drugs, and I think marijuana. So I got it from, yeah, so that's where I got that from. And now for my personal opinion, it's Again, it's something I don't do, so I really don't care much about it. Um, honestly, I say make it legal, just so Pot has nothing else to talk about, because it's just so fucking annoying to listen to him on and on and on and on and on about how Pot should be legal, Pot should be legal. Ah, oh, shut the fuck up. Honestly, it, it's just really that much annoying. I, In my English class, when we did research papers, I at least had to peer edit four of them about Pot. It was so annoying. Um, it's, if it does become legal, I do believe it is something that needs to be regulated, like, you know, you need 18 or over to do it, you need, it needs to be controlled, given out, like, um, some medications, you can only get so much a year or so much a month, I believe it should be one that is like that, you can only get, like, so much a year or so much a month, I have no idea what type of calculation that needs to be, because I don't know how much you how it affects you or how much affects you. I believe you shouldn't be able to drive or operate heavy machinery on it, of course, and it, it would be like drinking and driving. If you're pulled over and high, you get arrested. And Because there are some uh, drug tests where they're instant, they're instant uh, results. Their instant results, and um, like police could do that, make you pee in the cup, and then if you fail, they take you in for the night, and then they make you pee in another cup, and they send it off to a lab to get a proper full drug test, and if it's a false positive, it's, I'm, oopsies, I'm sorry, here's like a $100 gift card to Outback Steakhouse or something, but if it's positive, then you get like prosecuted for 
whatever. So I do believe it's not just legal and everyone should be able to do it. It needs to be something controlled and something that is uh, maintained. There we go. So um, I just wanted to say that really quickly. It was nice to meet, meet you all. Um, hope you enjoy the rest of the week. Blessed be everyone, and bye.